Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sam Livecast. October is National Apple Month. So, Woo! Yeah. Sorry, you needed a little something there. You need something there? <laughs> you were like, wait. <laughs> so uh, it's Apple Week, if that wasn't obvious from what I just said. And we're starting with, with one of my favorite little um, uh, simple little apple desserts. Let me think about this. Butter, sugar, apples. Puff paste girl. Five, six ingredients, maybe. Wow. It's not very many. Not very many. But here's how it starts. We're making a tartatin. Uh, T a r t e t t a t i n. T a t i n. Okay, Mr. Frenchy. It's a. It's just like a little French um, uh, uh, apple tart. Oh, nice. And we're doing it in a cast iron pan. Cast iron. Sweet. Love cast iron. So here's what we're gonna do. Start by putting some sugar in here. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be caramely. Not too much. I don't know. That's what? Three, like three tablespoons. But this is pretty much a baby one. Right? We're going to let that uh, melt down. While we're getting to the point where that's ready, we'll grab ourselves a Granny Smith and a peeler. Hope a peeler. And a peeler. And a peeler. And a peeler. And we'll do this. Cut, cut, and now peel. But while we're peeling, we want to make sure that the apples don't start to brown. So we're just going to toss them in a little lemon juice with our citrus juicer. That's the trick? Yeah, lemon juice keeps your stuff from uh, going brown. What other type of stuff? Apples, um, any kind of like tree fruit, uh, potatoes. Potatoes, yeah. Yep. Also lemon on the potatoes as well. Yeah. Before Why do we think the reason for that is? It's the acid that uh, rebukes the oxidation of <laughs> the fruit. He's full of shit if you were wondering. <laughs> I think there may be something in there that... It ha that makes sense. I just don't know that I'm using all my words properly, but. <laughs> Do you have a decent peeler? Get yourself a decent peeler if you don't. Hey, they can see our gadgets video soon. Yes. Yes, blog.bedbathandbeyond.com. We shoot a ton of stuff there, all kinds of worthy, useful information. Sometimes it's nonsense. Sometimes it's just great sense. What's the opposite of nonsense? You're just on today. What is the opposite <laughs> of nonsense? Lots, uh, I don't know, actually. So you see what I've done? I peeled it, top and bottomed it, uh, peeled it. I cut it into quarters now. And now if you just take out that little triangular piece down the middle, a little better than that, then you've got no uh, of this bit that is difficult, none of the core. That's what I was, the word I was looking for. Mm. You don't want corn in this. You want to make sure that every bite you give to your guests is a delicious bite and they don't have to, they don't have to do one of these things. Mmm. Oh, I hate that. See it? You don't want to be doing that. Please don't do that to your guests. Take the time to do this the right way and you can see that didn't take very long. So my ship might, Max, please. Coming. Look what's happening oh, here. Wow. You know what that's making? It's basically making caramel, yeah. right? And it's going to start burning now. And I should have added some butter to it. So that's oh, look caramelizing, at that. it's yeah? Right, caramelizing, exactly. Let's try the experiment without the butter, shall we? Sure. I can't remember. Butter, no butter. I don't know. Let's do this. We'll go butter. Wow. Okay, watch that. Okay, now we'll just slice our apples. And the tossed ones will go in here. I know we're getting to these pretty quick, but I wanted you to see this step because if you're not fast about it or something gets in your way, you don't really have to worry that your stuff's going to go ugly. And then last one. Okay. So we toss these guys in here. Oops, last one. Lemon. And the lemon's going to enhance the flavor too, so... 
don't feel like it's a useless step because it's certainly not. You see what's happened over here? Wow, this is gorgeous. Jeez. Okay. And the smell. So you've got, you've got butter, you've got the, the sugar melted, you've got this whole caramel thing going on. And now you want to do this. Now you, so you want to take your apples and you want to now lay them out in a really beautiful little thing. What's the word? Pattern. Thank you. Formation. Formation. Right? Go pretty with this. Take your time. All the way around the circle. So, so far, all we've used is butter, sugar, yes. and apple. An apple. And the lemon, but that may not be always necessary. Yeah, I mean, look at if you're really jamming, forget the lemon, but, but it does definitely add some flavor and stuff, okay? And then I take a couple of these little pieces, and I just kind of break them, and I just drop them here in this little center piece, just to kind of fill it up a little bit. All right, now, okay, I forgot something, I forgot. Let me just get this on the heat. My oven's on 400. Hold on. Where is he going? I forgot. I had my puff pastry in the uh, in the other room. So you know, you got a puff pastry's got to come out about about a half an hour in advance from the freezer to let it defrost, right? Yes. Give yourself some time, or you will be hating life. You'll be hating life. That's just uh, doing its little sizzling thing. And now here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut out a circle. of puff pastry. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, perfect. Deal with you. Come. Come and see here. See what's happening? You know it's making color and beautiful. Turn that off. Oh, oh, I forgot. Watch. Watch what I want to do. Okay. I want to do two things. I want to do like a... Uh, back up, Maxie. Sorry. I want to do a salted caramel kind of thing. Oh. So I've got caramel here that I use for ice cream. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some sugar, kosher, sorry, kosher salt to play off of the sweet of everything in here. Sorry. Come on, you. And then just some caramel right there. Wow. Beautiful, right? And now the puff pastry goes on top. And then it's done. And then this goes from here into my 400 degree oven. I'll turn that off. So that's going to take about 20 minutes. And in that 20 minutes, you can do all kinds of things. You probably even have time to jump on the computer and go to theperch.com and check out our favorite people pretty much anywhere in the entire kitchen, bath, outdoor space. They've been there for us all the way through the live cast. My new bathroom, which you're going to see pictures of very soon, is completely uh, outfitted with things that come from Perch. And yes, I paid for them for those of you that think I just got them for free because I didn't get them for free. The place is amazing, amazing products, but even more amazing people. You got to love them. Perch.com. Check them out on the internet, go to their stores, San Diego, Costa Mesa, Rancho Mirage, soon to be Glendale, soon to be UTC, soon to be Dallas, soon to be Atlanta, and the list goes on. What can I say? All right, the moment of truth is this. Ow! Oh, God. I hate that. What'd you do? Don't you have a towel? Uh, I know, I do have a towel, but I reached in and the rack got my hand. Oh, Fuck. God. Okay. So here's what we've got. Look at, look at that guy, right? The puff pastry on top, wow. looking all gorgeous. The key now, ladies and gentlemen, the key now is to get it out of that damn little thing and onto a plate in one perfect, you know, not too slidey, messy. So you, you want to wait about 30 seconds before you do it. The times that I've just gone straight from the pan, boom, like that, it's like mushed out and not been good. It might happen now. I mean, it's hard to say. This but is either going to work really well or <laughs> fail miserably. It's either going to be amazing or an epic fail. Yep. So let me just do this. Let me just try and make sure I'm, I'm all jimmied open all the way around the sides. Yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like the, 
like the spatula is going underneath about an inch or so. Yeah. So that's a good sign, right? It looks loose. That's what she said. Oh, God. Ugh, that was awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so. What See, are you doing? I'm going to try and do this. The problem is there's no. Like if the if the the cast iron pan was if the cast iron pan was bigger, there'd be more surface area and stuff. Yeah. And I don't have a lot, so this has all the makings of like a complete like burn burn episode. Oh yeah. And I want it sort of right in the middle. So ready? Uno dos. Uh oh. Hoy. Oh jeez. Uno dos tres. There we are. Wow. I think you got it. <laughs> if by getting it, have a look in here, you mean not coming out? Yes, then I've got it. It's not coming out. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what oh, happened no. to you? Oh, there we go. Okay. It's just a little jammed up. Here we go. Gosh, I'm just struggling here, man. There we go. Wow. All right, so now that's, look what you've got, right? So what have you got? You've got the beautiful little uh, sweet little apple deal uh, in the middle, the little laid out apples, only butter and sugar. Yes, we added a little layer of caramel and the salt to give it that little salted caramel thing. So we'll do two things at this point. A tiny little bit more salt. It's really gonna um, accentuate the sweet of this, make it even better. We can give it a little bit more of this. Right, just a little drizz wow. of the caramel. And then of course, you know what I'm going for. No, you don't. Green onion. No, <laughs> that's pretty funny actually. I'm on my favorite dessert thing. Powdered, Powdered sugar. sugar. I think you love it for Look at it. Yeah. Look how beautiful it is, right? So now, now I should try and cut one little piece out, right? Yes. Go like this. You hear the little crispy underneath? Oh, I've just turned it into a little Pac-Man. Ow. A bastard. Ow. Shit. Mm -hmm. Shit, that's hot. Oh. And you know I'm not a dessert person. There's something about a little tarte tan that I sort of dig. That's, um, I don't know what it is. It's the fact that there's only a few ingredients in it. and <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay. The salt, the caramel, the whole... The whole deal, you saw this was. Once more, another reason why you should have a cast iron pan. You could do in anything that can go in an oven, but I love a cast iron pan. All right, thanks for hanging out to National Apple Month, and that makes this Apple Week. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Two more great things coming up this week. Don't forget to come back. It's always fun. Tell your friends we love you for hanging out with us. See ya.